couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff and in this video I want to answer one of the questions that I tend to get more than most questions and that's how do you use your fingers to strum chords? How do you make it sound like a pick? And the answer to that is A, it doesn't sound like a pick, it sounds like strumming with my hand, um, but B, um, it's all a matter of getting used to it and doing what's comfortable for me. Um, picking in a way that's comfortable for my hand and my physical comfort. So I want to give you three methods for strumming with your fingers without a pick and you just pick the one that is comfortable for you and practice that one. And before we start, I just want to mention that this lesson is sponsored by Leonardo from WoodenCapos.com or WoodenK.com. If you haven't checked out his Wooden Capos, they're amazingly beautiful. Go to woodencapos.com or woodenk.com. Both links work and lead to the same place. Go check out his wooden capos. He makes them by himself, handmade, and Leonardo's an excellent dude, uh, if I may say so myself. I've met him once, and um, his capos are well worth buying. And uh, if you do consider buying one of his capos, there's also a Lick and Ref discount. Enter the coupon code Lick and Ref, and you'll get 15% off. So the first method is brushing the strings using your thumb. That's the folk method. And it sounds, uh, it sounds very delicate and it's actually a very interesting sound. Okay, just brushing the strings with your thumb. Not hitting them, not attacking them, just brushing over them. That's like the troubadour way. see it gets a really interesting um, unison type of sound very normalized very uh, all the strings are equal to one another and the second method is to pretend you're holding a pick that's one of the most common methods and you prepare um, you put your fingers like this uh, your thumb between the first and second fingers and you pretend you're holding a pick and you just Strong. Now this isn't comfortable for me, I'm not used to this. I'll try with my forefinger and my thumb. Okay? And that actually uses uh, both fingernails. Okay? And you just pretend you're holding a pick, but you pick with your fingernails. Okay? So either two fingers, which I see most people doing um, or with one finger. I guess this is more comfortable for me because I'm used to uh, picking with one finger. Now the third method, my method, um, it's not my method, it's the method I'm using, um, it's been around for hundreds of years, um, is using the fingers as an open strum, just holding the, the hand and striking using my uh, fingernails and when you uh, when you want to do an upstroke you use your thumb so it's okay, down with your fingers up with my thumb and I said your fingers my thumb that would make an interesting uh, Frankenstein type thing okay so that's the basic of the method now everybody's doing it differently you can either use three fingers okay, as one unit um, and one thumb because you have one thumb per hand so okay and it's down up and that's the freest method because you do this you just throw your hand around okay I use one finger and um, when I see people uh, use one finger for this they usually do this okay with the forefinger and the thumb this just this as if you're doing this so okay the forefinger and the thumb it's very close to the pick the pretend pick method uh, but 
with the open hand. This is very, very, very convenient. But again, I may say so because I'm used to it. Now, I'm using my second finger for some reason. I don't know why, just got used to it. Okay, and the important thing to remember here is to start very small with small movements so you can control which strings you're picking. Okay, if you start with big movements, which is never a good thing while playing music, you should always uh, strive and aspire for the smallest movement possible. Um, that way you have more control over your technique and the music that uh, you express. Uh, but again, I'm confusing you a little, so let's get back on track and on um, the subject at hand. And just start with very small movements. And pick three strings at a time and go up and down and see how you feel with the picking. Okay, high strings, low strings. Okay, and this is actually something you do in Spanish music. Uh, you pick the string sets you're playing. Okay, now this is an acoustic, of course it doesn't sound Spanish, but this is the... This is the secret behind the technique. Uh, you, um, you play with the bass notes and then you use the high notes as sort of a counterpoint to that. Okay, so get used to that. Get used to picking the low notes, then the high notes. Right, okay. and when you're used to that, um, try rock strums and try to play the, you know, the right sets of strings. No extra strings. For example, if you're on F, this F or D minor, try not to play the A and E bass notes. And if you practice this, the, the high and low string method, then you're already used to it. And no extra, no wrong notes, okay, no dirty sound, just very clean and very precise, just like you're uh, used to when you're playing with a pick. So that's the way you do it, and you go practice this and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I don't know what you're waiting for, there are a ton of lessons for free already on the channel, and I upload a new one every couple of days or so. So, I'll see you in the next lesson, and in the meantime, you have fun strumming with your fingers, so uh, bye for now, thanks for watching.